Good morning, everybody. So today I want to show you a design pattern called uh, the factory method. So I just want to show you what is it on paper, how to implement it, and an example of where it can be useful. So let's just start um, with uh, by defining a simple struct called um, a person, and a person has a field uh, age, which is uh, an int, and um, how you would instantiate a person um, without any extra method, you, you just do p and then colon equal person and then just supplying the edge uh, like that. So then uh, we can just log it, log print it. So you can see that uh, it's gonna do 34 on the right. So um, the factory method is just saying that you can provide a constructor for this struct without going for any um, specific keywords of the language. Language. So there we just define a function called new person, which is um, taking an age int, and then inside the body of the function, we just build this struct person age uh, with the edge supply. So to use that, you just invoke new person and just, you just supply the edge, for instance. So that's the very uh, bare minimum um, verb on iteration of the factory method. So here it's a bit simple um, method, so we can do something more complicated for you to understand what's the usefulness of this pattern. So let's say we, instead of sending directly the age, we send the uh, year of birth, and then we do the calculation uh, inside the body of the constructor. So just 2021 minus the uh, year of birth, and it should be the age of the person. So if the person is born on in 1945, it's 76. So here you can see already one benefit of this pattern. So you are hiding some uh, instantiation complexity. So here it's very simple. I'm just doing a, a today minus year of birth, but if you have complex initialization, that makes sense. All right, so now let's go a bit further and uh, let's play with uh, interface and let's compose those uh, factories. So let's define an interface called, uh, called animal. So with one single uh, method called uh, sound, which is gonna um, throw back a string. And let's um, just define like a, um, a function which is gonna use this animal so let's just call it farm and then a farm will take an animal and then just um, log print uh, the sound basically so we just do animal dot sound um, that's it so animal is an interface so farm needs uh, a concrete implement implementation of uh, that animal uh, so then let's just define, uh, let's say a cat and let's implement uh, the interface. So in Go, you just need to define a receiver method with the same signature of your interface. So in our case, it's just um, a method called sound and spitting back a string. So there you go. So then we're just returning meow and then let's do the same with another um, Constru uh, another struct called dog and then if you have goland you can just use the shortcut and implement the interface animal so the dog is just returning a uh, woof all right so here let's um let's do a bit of um introduce a bit of uh, config so for instance to your function farm you we sent a um an int x, and if uh, x is greater than 42, we want, let's say, um, a, a cat, and if uh, if not, we just want uh, a dog. Simply like that, so in real life, it would be a configuration, basically. So uh, then let's just invoke this uh, farm uh, method. So if we send 42, we're expecting a dog. So there you go, you've got woof. Let's uh, just uh, add some command to add some visibility to the structure of this um, script. So we have our interface animal, we we have our cat and we have our dog here. 
and we have the, the farm function. So um, let's use our factory method and you will see the benefit of it. So for the cat, we just say same as the person a few minutes ago, we just say new cat and then new cat is just returning a cat simply like that. So we're gonna do, so yeah, you can see on line 38, we can change the initialization by new cat. So we are hiding the implementation, the initialization, and we can do the same with the dog. If you have Golan, you can just use the shortcut. So it's giving you um, a pointer dog. That doesn't matter at this stage. And we can just replace uh, our initialization in farm by the constructor, the factory new dog. So um, same thing as the person, but um, it was really simple. But you can see, for instance, with dog, if, if we want to make it uh, more complex, so for instance, we have a field called name for the dog and we can instantiate all the dog uh, with dog. So then um, we are hiding this um, instantiation in the constructor. All right, if I sum up, um, the two main benefits of uh, this factory method is so first one, separation of concern. So you can see that the instantiation of a cat or a dog is abstracted from the point of view of the farm. And the second one is um, the abstraction that you can do in your constructor, in your factory, basically. So you can have complex instantiation that you would hide from the consumer. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. As usual, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. And um, also let me know if you want to see uh, more design patterns. Happy coding.